Uh, I just want to take you through a, a few uh, wheel choices. Um, if you choose a high profile uh, wheel, you'll get a, a, a very high uh, aerodynamic uh, advantage. That basically means that you'll go faster uh, at the same pedaling power. Um, so that's something you need to consider. Uh, I'm just going to show you a few of uh, SIP's high profile wheels. The 1080 is a high profile uh, aero wheel, consists of a 108mm high uh, carbon rim. Uh, Using a wheel like this you'll get an advantage of roughly 90 seconds over a 40 km time trial, so uh, uh, something to be considered when you're uh, choosing the wheels. Uh, next step down, 808. This is Fabian Cancellara's favorite wheel. Uh, 80, nearly, uh, well, 80.8mm uh, high uh, carbon rim. Very very stiff wheel uh, that's very responsive when you ride. Uh, all of SIP wheels uh, are made with the uh, dimples in the uh, uh, in the carbon rim. Uh, this is uh, made to uh, to reduce the uh, airflow and give you uh, less drag, so you can uh, so you can ride even faster. Um, the step down from the 808. So on the other side here. Uh, this is the 404, which is uh, uh, the most versatile uh, wheel you get. One thing you need to consider uh, in Denmark is you can encounter a bit of uh, uh, or some winds during the course, and of course a very high profile uh, wheel or even a disc wheel that we have here uh, is uh, much more aerodynamic, but it's also uh, um, uh, you can feel the wind very much in a wheel like this, where uh, the 404 you get a, a sufficient aero uh, advantage, uh, but you don't feel the wind as much. Um. Uh, as for wheel recommendations for the Challenge Copenhagen, the best solution would uh, be uh, the most aero solution uh, is a disc wheel uh, in the rear, very high profile wheel like the 1080. Uh, in the front. Uh, this is a solution if you're a, a 85 uh, kilogram uh, pro triathlete used to handling uh, your bike, uh, that combination would uh, be what gets you going the fastest. If on the other hand you're not a, a pro triathlete and uh, if you're not as skilled uh, handling the bike, uh, the problem with the high profile wheel will be uh, that the wind will knock you around, especially in the front wheel where, you, where you're steering. Um, so uh, if you're not in the pro ranks, I would recommend you could get the best, uh, still get the aero uh, advantage of a high profile wheel, but choose this for your rear, uh, rear wheel and uh, for the front wheel. Uh, a solution like the 404 uh, is still going to give you an aero, aero advantage, but you'll find it much easier to steer the bike and keep the bike in control uh, even if you encounter uh, crosswinds on the bike section.